it's Saturday. Yay, we made it through the week. I wasn't sure if I was gonna go to yoga this morning or not. Um, I had a hot yoga Groupon in Reston that I purchased a couple weeks ago, but then I hurt my hamstring. And I know it's good to stretch, but it's really hard to be motivated to go to a class when you're just not feeling 100%. And of course I'm training so hard every day. So anyway, um, I decided I'm gonna go this morning. It's 7.20 right now. It's early on a Saturday for me to be up. Um, but I got eight hours of sleep last night and had a new low weigh-in, a 114.4. And mind you, I've been on prep for, well, let's see, I have four weeks left. I've been on it for 12 weeks and my weight has dropped. This is barely four pounds, okay? So I'm, I guess, happy because it's, I'm holding onto a lot of muscle, but also it's like, why isn't it moving? I don't know. I can't think too much about it, guys. I feel really, really good. I feel lean. Um, to yoga, I'm wearing this top, which I love. You can see the back. Just the razor back. This is from Lululemon, and these pants are from Athleta. Don't mind my cute slippers. These are super cute pants. I love them. They're so stretchy and comfortable. So. I'm gonna go do that. Nick is sleeping, he worked last night. Um, I ate this morning before I went, I'm going to yoga because I don't wanna pass out. My calories are already low. And then I have a posing session tonight at like a clinic in Woodbridge and I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna take you with me. Nick's gonna record there, it's gonna be really good because show's coming up soon and I need to have posing down to an art because no matter how much muscle you have, if you can't show it off, what good is it? So I'm super excited. I'll take you guys with me that, uh, there tonight. Hope everybody has a great day. how I feel after hot yoga oh my gosh guys 110 degrees on a Saturday morning it's good it's really good um, it's beautiful out it's gonna be 66 today and sunny I just want to show you guys how disgusting I get during hot yoga like really like this is my my, my Lululemon top that I showed you before and look at this ready are you watching I think I can like bring it up see it it's dripping that's disgusting it's awesome. Reality check though. I've been doing yoga like, I don't know, like eight months, I guess. And I was going pretty regular and then I stopped when Nick and I moved because, where's the light here? Here it is. Um, because it was just a lot going on and I've been training for my show and stuff. So taking those few weeks off really, obviously training so hard, I'm stiff, I'm so stiff, I'm sore. Even though I foam roll, it's just not the same as hot yoga. I mean, 90 minutes of stretching is just the best feeling in the whole world when you leave. Um, so reality check, I just am not as flexible as I normally am, which is frustrating to me because I, I don't want to, I want to get better at yoga, I love it. So I guess today was, I needed it, it was worth it. I'm gonna try to go like one or two more times before show. Uh, like I said, with training like three hours a day between all the cardio, it's really hard to find the energy to do this. And I always make sure I eat right before I go. Um, like 40 minutes before I go because otherwise I'm starving. My portions aren't that big as it is. So um, today I'm going to head home. I need to get an another meal in. Um, I need to get out of these disgusting clothes. Ugh, I'm so, ugh, in a good way. Um, and then we'll see what the day brings. Like I said, we have a posing thing tonight. I'm excited to bring you guys with me. My face is so red. Look at that, look at that. Makes my teeth look white, <laughs> whatever. Anyway, it's gonna be a beautiful weekend. Hope you guys are all having a great day. Let me know if you've been to a hot yoga that you like in Northern Virginia, because I'm always willing to try new ones. Um, or let me know if you like hot yoga, some people don't. I just like it better than regular yoga because I can get deeper stretching. I don't know, I just feel good. I feel like a million bucks. And it's only 9.30 in the morning and I'm done with my hot yoga session. So when Nick wakes up, we'll see if we're gonna hit the gym together. He might go, I might not. We'll see, we'll see. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.
Okay, so I showered, look presentable now after hot yoga. That was disgusting. Got these cute pants on I showed you guys before in, um, I don't know, a while back, I guess, from Anthropology. They're so cute, super comfy, highly recommend. They were a little bit out of budget, but they're still adorable. And then this top, it's like, it's one of those jumper things. Cute back. See if I can see the back, see it, kind of. Um, I think this was from Forever 21. Um, if not, South Moon Under has really cute rompers too. Just comfy. Um, Nick and I are going to take a walk. It's beautiful out. We are going to head to Woodbridge for that posing clinic here soon. So we're just hanging out here at the house. Did some stuff. Uh, edited some YouTube videos. He went to the gym. Yeah, just another day. We're not doing much for Easter tomorrow. Whoa, that was loud. But we just opened some packages. It's looking pretty buff over there. <laughs> uh, yeah, so happy Saturday. I guess we'll keep you guys posted on the posing clinic. Nick will get some good footage to show you guys later. And I think that's it. Whoa, that was loud. <laughs> I'm blowing up. Hi guys, just got to World Gym in Woodbridge. I'm gonna pose. Just ate my five bites of rice and chicken. Still starving, so hopefully this goes well. Nick's gonna record as we go. And uh, it's a work in progress, so let's see how it goes. All right, so um, how many of you, I just asked the bikini girls, how many of you guys are first timers? That's why you look terrified. Right? Uh, do I look terrified? You're totally good. Oh my That's goodness. Okay. Here we are. Here we are. Um, my name is uh, uh, Peter Gordon, and um, um, oh, okay. I'm done now. Um, I was just actually coming to drop some flyers off, of course. Um, so it's always nice to stop by and see what folks are doing. Um, I had the privilege of um, head judging a lot of the shows in Australia as far as not the NPC goes. Um, I also judge on the national level, which is where you then go next to try to get qualified for a pro card. I also have the privilege of also judging in the professional league. Um, so I've been around for seven years now, and I, you know, sort of seen all the, I, I'm able to tell you all the do's and don'ts of the figure division. Uh, it is indeed, I hate to say it, but really, really my favorite division, because it, I think it combines feminine beauty and muscularity, you know? Um, so it's sort of the right balance. Um, I love all the other divisions, but that's when I, that comes up, I perk up. Especially when you see that one girl that comes out and just nails it right away. You know, the look, the overall thing. Bear in mind, it is a beauty pageant. I, I said this before and I'll say it again. It is a complete, 100% beauty pageant. Um, but it's a beauty pageant with muscles, right level of muscularity. Uh, the hair has to be done the right, right way. Here's part of the props. Um, hair down or hair up. Why? If your face looks like mine, yeah. you want to make right. it more feminine because you start thinking it. Right. Yeah. 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 You're going to get to a place where you get you condition down, the face starts to look a little hardened. The hair can soften it. So the hair and the makeup, that's all part of the prop. Um, and um, the other part too is uh, eyelashes, things like that. Don't get those big old eyelashes that look like this. <laughs> right? they, they, they'll show. Um, the other thing is, don't try to get makeup to match the color of your suit. For example, that's a nice color suit. Don't get a makeup uh, shadow to try to match that. You look like a raccoon. That's mm -hmm. the All right. So again, it's just about accentuating your natural beauty. Uh, Suit-wise, uh, the the, if we remember your suit, then it's too much. All right. And a real way of, of, this, of figuring that out is taking a picture of you in a suit. And say to a friend, the fashion, look at me in front of the eyes and say, what do you know this first? If they say the suit, it's too much. Right? Um, so the material has to pop well against your skin and, and accentuate your tone and all that good stuff. Bear in mind that the stage light hits, if it's not the right level of um, uh, right color, right level of bling, it won't shine through. Alright? Uh, the cut of the suit is also important. Come on a second. Yeah. Um, Face that direction. Yeah. Now, from the size of your suit now. Down. Good. 
What does that look like when she does that? Bikini. Well, not just bikini. What, what, what does it do to the hips? Lows them down. It makes them more blocky. Mm. Right? So, put it up high. Higher. Yeah. Right there. Right there. <laughs> yeah. What do you do to your waist? It tapers it. Mm -hmm. So those are those separate things. So when you get a pursuit cut, make sure okay. make sure you just one. Yeah. And that's a good suit by the way. Um don't buy those old fashioned suits with a half chain, you know that the chain right here. I would even caution you about having suits that have chains at the side. Why? You can't lift them up and you can't bikini bite them to your sides. No. Yeah, sure. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. um, uh, I have no problems with the suit. See, she can raise it up pretty high and it works for her. Alright? The other thing is with your suit maker, a little trick when you use suit makers. Same thing with bikini. Get one suit, wear it, wear it till the rhinestones fall off. You never, don't ever need to change that suit. It's a perfect suit. Alright? Um, as far as um, uh, suits, get one extra, get the right cut, but when it comes to suit makers, make sure that you don't tell them that your shows, it might be recorded. All right, they're gonna hear this. You lie about your show date. If your show date is next week, tell them, tell them it's today. All right, because nine times, they're going, to, oftentimes they're going to wait till that, because they have hundreds of orders prior to yours. Right? Always lie about your day. I would say two weeks before. And you'll probably get it the day of the show. <laughs> your legend does. You know? That's my two cents on that. Shoes, shoes, those are good to go. Three to five inches is fine. Don't have high platforms. My dear, I love that those shoes, but it might be a bit much. Yeah. You know what I mean? Stand up for a second. Yeah, so in her in her case, she's trying to show up. <laughs> right? My point is, the last thing I want to think about is them some bling shoes. When that light hits, that thing is going to spark. And it will walk in like a disco globe just kicking up. You know? So that's my two cents on that. Um, uh, so the shoes, again, that works well. All right? Those are very basic. Uh, another simple thing you could do as well is uh, make sure that if you have straps, don't pull them when you're taking them off because they will start to loosen up. And next thing you know, they don't fit properly. Right? If you like the open, they are what call the sandal types or the new types, those are fine. All right. Uh, what we're looking for as far as look conditioning. Okay. Uh, what we're looking for as shape um, is just about right here. Right. Uh, you get too bigger than this, you will get knocked down. Yeah. And we are holding the line a lot this year. Um, you're not going to see, you know, those days are done. Uh, Pitch your front toes again for me. Here we go. All right. And so a lot of folks, um, you know, so as far as posing, this is, there, um, how many poses are there in favor? Four. Four. How many poses really matter? Two. 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 Run back. Run back. The truth is, don't jack the other two up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's it. You know? <laughs> so, so that's the thing. Um, uh, as far as opposing, you know, get it to a good stance, hold it. Shape wise, what you put post bigger things? When, when we think about um, shape, right balance to the, to the delts, again, you don't need big, you don't need big front legs. In fact, you can even leave it alone to train because you start looking like a bodybuilder with the most muscle. The primary delts we are the medium you wear to a certain extent. Right? If you're pumping up backstage, what should you pump up before you go on stage? Mm -hmm. That's it. Do it all from your chain arms. Okay. Or from your chain arms here. Yeah. You love training arms, don't you? Yes. I stopped, and now I'm trying to do shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're, we're very quick to tell somebody to go to the seat. And if that's what you want to do, that's okay. But if you don't want to do it, then don't do it. Alright? Uh, pull the turn to the right. This pose really, we don't, we really don't care. Sometimes I'll just have the girls turn all the way to the rear. From the upper left down to the lower left. You don't need to do a bunch of abs and crunches because you're going to end up building this. And you want this to be as tiny as you possibly can get. A small 
Judges love tiny weight. Sometimes it's genetics. Sometimes you can make it a little bit better if you build this out wide. So figure is whip. So you notice in her front stand, everything is lifted up, chest up, everything's up, abs tight. She's not bending back or anything like that. She's standing up straight. Her heels are together. There's a slight separation in her toes. Her quads, the way she's doing this, her quads, is she is slightly pushing out. So it's like you're separating your knees without separating your knees. You can track them up. So this is what a really good front pose looks like. I'll just soften the elbow shift a little bit. And you don't want your arms too far out. Something you can do a hand shake. You should be able to almost touch your thighs with your hands so you know that they're within a good distance of your body. All right, relax. So I want everyone to channel you'll see that I just rode around in a shopping cart at Harris Teeter because I was too tired to walk so posing posing went great um, Peter Edwards I believe is a nationally qualified na nationally qualified head judge I think he just made a guest appearance at this posing clinic which was awesome he was so helpful and then the two pros that did um, the posing Coco and Julia were phenomenal I learned a lot I'm so sore so tired and that's how you know you're doing it right so yeah, we drove about an hour to get there and an hour to get back and it was worth every minute. I can't wait. I think I'm gonna set up some private, se private lessons with one of them um, so I can get better at posing because it's such a hard, and it's a very learn, it's a hard technique and it's learned over time. So it's not perfect. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that. It was a great day. I'm so glad Nick went. Um, he got to see a lot. We both got to learn a lot. That compliments on my suit and the color of it and how it matches my skin tone well, so that made me really happy. And I know once I drop water and I get all tanned up in a couple weeks, it's gonna all come together perfectly, so I'm super excited. Until then, very, very sleepy, very tired. We rented a movie. I'll let you know how it is. It's called, I already forgot. The Beast Burden? I don't know. From Redbox, we'll see. It's hit or miss, definitely, on Redbox. So, uh, we went grocery shopping, got some steaks for tomorrow. We're going to get a good workout in tomorrow, and then Nick's going to cook his famous coffee rub steaks, which I showed you guys in the last video picture of in the cast iron. So freaking good. So, yeah, that's about it. I cannot believe this battery has lasted all day. From yoga to next workout to hours of posing practice, and then a grocery store haul and now the light is blinking at me so we're gonna conclude there it was a good Saturday I will check in with you guys soon have a good night